Welcome back. Time now for news from the left. First up, Joe Biden speaking on abortion rights and repeating what's become the really big story for the left, a really provocative and totally unverified story, allegedly that a 10-year-old girl had to travel from Ohio to Indiana to get an abortion after she, a 10-year-old girl, was raped. Take a listen. A 10-year-old girl was a rape victim in Ohio, 10 years old. And she was forced to have to travel out of the state to Indiana to seek to terminate the presidency and maybe save her life. That's last part is my judgment. 10 years old. 10 years old. That's a horrific story if it's true. It is a horrific story if it's true. The question is whether or not it's true or is it just a great way to get people to run and vote in the next election, which, let's be honest, that's all these people care about. The Washington Post has even acknowledged the story has not been verified and comes from an OBGYN in the state of Indiana, my home state, who apparently is a major advocate for abortion. Oh, so it's a single source story from a person that has a clear political agenda. Oh, a conservative media outlet is reporting there has been no arrest made in connection to the 10-year-old girl being raped. Usually when 10-year-old girls get raped, there's a lot of activity and, you know, they work pretty hard to find the guy. The OBGYN who made the original claim refuses to give any more information about the story when asked about it. Nope, not going to say a word about it. Interestingly enough, even though I should say, you know, not to protect the victim, but won't say anything about it even though the rapist is still out there? Bit odd. Interestingly enough, Roe versus Wade, based on a lie, a lady that said she was gang raped and it never happened. And that gave us 50 years of precedent in this country. Isn't that crazy? Next up, as Biden destroys the country and the Democrat Party, here is Mark Leibovich on the Meet the Press talking about the left's plan come election time. The only plan we have, this is another Republican congressman, a former Republican congressman, I said, look, we have no plan for this except sitting around hoping he dies. Oh, okay. That's one way to put it. And last up, just as Joe Biden prepares to go to Saudi Arabia, his Department of Justice is beginning an antitrust investigation into the PGA Tour. Now, why is that interesting? Well, the Live Golf Tour which is now the PGA's biggest and only competition, is owned by the Saudis. And from the moment Live Golf launched, most assumed that this kind of thing might be settled in court between the PGA Tour and Live. They were at each other's throats. Uh, it's been very hectic, to say the least. I know a lot of you pay attention to golf. You've seen this go down. The PGA confirming to the Wall Street Journal that the DOJ has launched an investigation over potential antitrust violations to see if the PGA engaged in any anti-competitive behavior with its new rival. Okay, well, they do this right as Joe Biden is getting ready to leave and go to Saudi Arabia, a very convenient investigation into the PGA Tour, a very convenient investigation for the Saudis. I mean, can you fathom if Trump was in office in this moment, especially with him owning all these golf courses? I mean, the explosion from your television set would be unbelievable. It'd be Trump going against American business to help the evil Saudis who planned 9-11. I mean, you could just see MSNBC and CNN on fire over the story all day long. But who's surprised at this point?